Hello. Right now, we're going to talk about freezing. Um, if you've never preserved food before, freezing might be a really good place for you to start, kind of get your feet wet and um, try this new skill. Most of us have a freezer at home, whether it's the freezer in your refrigerator or a deep freeze. So um, this is kind of an easy one to get started with. Freezing, you can freeze um, fruits, vegetables, meat, fish, poultry, um, pretty much everything that you would use in your um, cooking, you can freeze. But there are some guidelines that you do need to follow. If you are doing vegetables, um, you need to blanch those, which is blanching is dipping your food into boiling water for a certain amount of time for whatever food that might be. So corn has a different blanching time than peas, than green beans, that kind of thing. So you need to, again, refer to your book this is, I'm on the page of step-by-step -step freezing, and it will go through all the blanching times you need. But what you do when you blanch is you get a kettle bigger than this. This is a blanching basket. You put your food in here, you dunk it into that boiling water, set a timer, and um, I kind of forgot that in the basic equipment you do need a timer. I'm not good on my telephone timing, so I always have my kitchen timer or the timer on the stove set, so you know exactly, because if you get distracted and you go way too long on your blanching, you've basically cooked that food totally, and so you might as well eat that for supper rather than um, putting it in a freezer bag. The purpose of blanching is to stop the maturing enzyme in vegetables. If you do not get that stopped and you freeze that vegetable, that enzyme continues to work in the freezer and when you bring that food out, it will way be too mature, tough, um, and not taste very good. So that's why you blanch your vegetables. Um, then you can put those vegetables into any kind of freezer container. These are really nice. They have screw-on lids. Um, all of these are not good for every food because every food is a different size and shape. So you kind of have to pick your container as to what food you're preserving. You can find these in the canning aisle at most um, hardware stores, some grocery stores, Walmart, those kind of places. Um, also, square ones work better for some foods. And also, freezer bags. And make sure that you have purchased freezer bags. Regular Ziploc bags are not near as heavy and your foods will deteriorate quicker in a regular bag. It is recommended that you eat your frozen food within a year of putting it up. Um, food safety wise, it'll be fine longer than that. Food quality wise, it starts to deteriorate. So, eat those up quick and there's nothing better in the middle of winter than to have a wonderful frozen peach that tastes just like the end of summer. So, with fruits, you want to use a product called Fruit Fresh, and um, this helps prevent the browning of the fruit, and it'll tell you in each recipe how much Fruit Fresh to use. You can also use things such as lemon juice, orange juice, that kind, but it will alter um, the flavor. This does not alter the flavor. And again, use whatever your recipe specifies. So with that, um, do some experimenting. I love to do frozen peaches, frozen raspberries. Um, when we have a huge crop of tomatoes, I um, 
blend those up and freeze those and then later make salsa from them. So there's a lot of different things you can do with freezing and that way you'll have the taste of summer throughout the year.